So on this Suzuki 9.9, .9, the throttle spring is very tight. As you can see, once you release the throttle at all, it immediately bounces back down to idle. And the way that Suzuki has tried to engineer in a method to um, help you hold a, a certain RPM is that they put this tensioner knob on here. And in theory, what it's supposed to do is it adds a bit of friction to the bar in here so that when you release or when you, yeah, when you release the, the throttle, it um, doesn't jump back to um, idle RPM anymore. The problem is the way that that is engineered, you've got metal on metal, both of them relatively smooth. And even though it may set for a few minutes or um, once you start trolling, just the vibrations of the boat or the motor or whatever, this slowly starts to creep back, creep back, creep back, creep back. So let's get into the modification of this to show you how you can get it to lock down and stay locked. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna actually remove this tensioner assembly. And it's very simple to do. There's two screws right here, Phillips head screws. They just back out and this little assembly comes off. So let's do that and take a look at what this assembly actually is. Very simple to remove. A couple of Phillips head screws and it comes off. So this is what we basically have in there. We have um, a screw down knob and a little metal plate. And that little metal plate as the knob is screwed in, pushes up, as it, of course, as it's backed off, it goes back down. And what that's supposed to do is it's supposed to apply tension onto this bar. So that metal plate is pushing against that bar right there and it's supposed to keep this throttle uh, from, from rolling back down to idle. Um, but unfortunately, that smooth metal plate against that smooth metal bar doesn't even apply enough uh, friction to hold this in place. So let's do a little bit of a modification to this. So the first thing we need to do is we need to come up with a method to allow this plate to have more friction when it's applied to that steel, uh, smooth steel bar. So what I did is I took just a simple piece of old inner tube and, and cut a strip of it off. And I just made sure that I measured that it would fit down in between the screw holes, uh, wouldn't interfere with remounting this. And, it, and the way that I'm thinking this is gonna work is once I put this back together, as that, as that, uh, is, is that tensioner knob is screwed down and it starts to apply pressure to that uh, steel rod, this inner tube is gonna add a lot more friction than just that simple steel plate. And that's going to help keep that from just sliding around and going back down to um, idle. The next thing we're gonna do is we're actually going to invert the way that this was in there. As you can see, the way it was originally mounted, the top was on this side, and it was actually mounted high enough that that little plate, that steel plate, was actually putting the friction onto that steel bar. So we're gonna flip this around. We're gonna flip this completely 180, and we're gonna mount it back in here like this. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow that piece of inner tube and that friction plate to actually put friction onto this plastic sheathing, which is gonna give it a lot more 
uh, grabbing power than just on that smooth steel bar. So let's get this put back together and see how it works. All right, so remember when you're tightening these in, you're going into aluminum threads with a steel screw. So you don't want to over torque it because you may strip those threads. And remember using anti-seize on them will help a lot. So dissimilar metals, it's possible they could seize up in there. So anytime you remove a screw on your, on your outboard um, or a bolt, put a little bit of anti-seize on the threads. So we want to put these back in. You don't want to over torque them, just nice and snug is all you need. All right, well, let's see how it's working. So we've got our throttle. That's fine, that's working good. Now let's try our tensioner. So let's see if we set it. Let's say we set it. We want to sit right there. Okay, set it, put your tensioner knob down. You don't need to over torque that, just nice and snug. And boom. Oh yeah, that is not gonna go anywhere.